Redfish. Redfish. Oh my God. 18 inches, we can keep it. Ryan's got dinner on. There he is, there he is. That's a red. Oh, that's a red, that's a red, that's a red. I'm walking over. Oh, that's 18, that's 18. For sure, Ryan. That's for sure, that's like a 20. Grab him by the gill. Oh, the tail. Oh, wait. Hold my pole. Hold my pole. Hold my pole. Guys, pull. Oh. Oh. There we go. We got him. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, 20. Yes. Let's go. 20. All right. 20 inches. Look at that dog. First, what you want to do is kill it. So I got this big rock. You just gotta drop it on his head so he dies in one blow and not like suffering. So. There. He's dead now. To take his guts out, you just start from up here, poke it. Okay, what you wanna do is cut down to this fin right here. Then open them up and start ripping the guts out. So it kind of looks like that, all the guts out. And then you want to throw them in a freezer, something, some ice. There, now it's pretty clean. Now I just gotta put it in ice, and then I'll see it when we're filleting it. Okay, to fillet the fish, just get yourself a fillet knife, and this is how you do it. Start behind the fin, cut down, cut down to you feel the bone right here. Tilt your knife to about 45 degrees and just start cutting down. Then cut all the way to the tail, just flip it up. Should look something like this. Flip it over, do the next one. The next thing you want to do is take the skin and scales off. So what I like to do is start from right here, cut at like a 45 degree angle, start cutting, and then you can take your hand and grab the skin and just cut it like this and pull at the same time. Go. So then it's a nice clean piece of skin to throw away. And then what you're left with is all meat. Pretty thick. Pretty good piece. And then clean off your board. And then you can cut this part off which is the belly. Then there's a perfectly good piece of meat right here. A little chunk right here. Rinse it off, get all the scales off, and then you're good. Rinsed off, looks pretty good. Now, put this in the fridge until you're ready to cook it up. Now to do the next one.
What you need to cook this fish up is a pot to melt the butter, a, a pan to cook the fish, and what I use is some steak seasoning and some fish seasoning, because it's fish, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, butter, and onions. Just a little bit of everything.